Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey! Behind the camera is my son Mike. And there's Teddy. I just gave him a haircut. That's why his hair looks all like that. Started giving him ginger. Ginger! She just took a bath. Oh, he's somewhere around. So anyway guys, today I am making a little pasta for Joe. Don't pay attention to that pan over there because that's me making my afternoon bacon that I like to eat like that. But what I did was I bought me a box of chicken broth because I didn't want to like make it myself, okay? And it is, I think it is gluten free. Oh yeah. Okay, so we need that like for the base of the pasta fajo. So I'm going to put this on high. The first thing we're going to put, this it was only one hamburger uh, meat that I uh, I had from a whole bunch of them and I took one and I cooked it with garlic, all those white spots that you see there, that is real garlic. So we're gonna put that in the water like that. And I also cooked, um, uh, I think it was one uh, one cup of, uh, of these, um, what do you call this, macaroni noodles, Michael? It looks like two yeah, cups. Yeah, mac and cheese noodles. Oh, exactly. One cup? one top that's because it's boiled already and All the meat right. also died it's cooked already and i also take one can of um of beans what kind okay of beans? these are pinto beans these are pinto beans uh the red ones so what i did was i drain it and i rinse oh, them yeah. and i put it to a strainer and then i put it in this bowl so this is how you make your pasta and you're making it like very fast here and then i also have here one can is almost for petite diced tomatoes, so I'm just gonna put it all in there, okay? okay. And we're gonna stir it like that, and then we're also gonna put this is a uh, um, this is parsley, so I'm gonna put half of this parsley. We're gonna put it in there like that, and then we're gonna start seasoning. Now, as we always start seasoning with what? Salt and pepper, right? Oh yeah. So this is the amount of salt that I'm gonna put. I don't like to be measuring or none of that stuff. And I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic powder. I'm gonna put it in my hand, okay? Just like that, not that much, because it's not that much. I didn't wanna make a lot, because when you make a lot, you know what I'm saying? Then nobody wants to eat it. Now, this is basil. This is real basil leaves, dried out and chopped up. I wish one of you guys were here so you could see and you could smell this. And uh, we gotta load up on this, Michael, because we're running low. So what I'm gonna do, I take my fingers, guys, like this. And I taste it, a little bit of basil. I'm gonna put a little bit more. It just gives it like that nice fragrance of um, fresh. Yes, Mike? Oh, yeah. A little bit of pepper. I just took my pepper thing and then like that. We also gonna put a little tiny bit of oregano, but I go like this with my fingers and mush it. And you go like that. And we're also going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning. This is all the spices together, okay, guys? It has no salt or, or anything in it. This is, when I said all the spices, I'm talking about basil, parsley, oregano, a little bit of everything together in there. And uh, exactly, there you go, some dry garlic. So that's Italian. And then this, last but not least, these are my Sicilian seasoning herbs. This has everything everything i'm talking about anything that you want to do for pasta for meatballs for sauces you want to get some of this you can order it online it is called sicilian herb seasoning and it smells delightful smell that mic so Ooh, i'm gonna put a little smells bit like more. a pizza kind yeah like a piece exactly two little bits like that and i'm saying like one tablespoon of those herbs i put in there and now we're going to season this Okay, we we'll have to let it go flavor up, and then it's more or less it's done because it really doesn't take that long. Let me get another spoon, Michael. Sorry, my son. There we go. And now, oh, before I forget, we gotta put a little bit of uh, of uh, vinegar. Okay, so we gotta put a little bit of the vinegar is so we can oh, yeah. separate all the flavors. That's the wow. simmer for a while. Mm. Wow, this is delicious. So. What we're gonna do now is we have a little bit of white vinegar. Okay, white vinegar more or less goes with everything, and I like to put it because it separates all the flavors, separates the salt, the garlic, the paper, the pepper. I'm sorry, did I say pepper? <laughs> and it kind of like uh, then you can feel the taste of everything. You can taste your noodle, you know, and also I always like to put that. 
a little tiny big drop of cash. I don't know how I am with that, but I might. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, tomato basil sauce. So a little bit, just because, you know, you people put sugar, you put sugar and oils on everything. They gives it a little bit of color and the sugar is in there at the same time. And then, last but not least, a little tiny bit of Ooh. tomato sauce. This is tomato and basil blend, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go like this with my spoon, okay? Because I don't want some of uh, that heavy stuff. I'm not gonna put a lot just a little bit like that see this is gonna like uh, put that signature taste in there it already looks very nice and what i'm gonna do right now guys i'm gonna put it in the back i'm gonna simmer it you know what we can simmer it right here and i'm gonna put it on low on two and a half three for like five ten minutes and then we're gonna come back i'm gonna serve a bowl of this and i'm gonna do a little tasting guys because this is absolutely delicious and it's so easy the reason I want to separate everything like that is to show you guys how easy it is to make. If you have a little bit of pasta that you already cook or meat, that's what you do. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll be right back. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Hey, guys. So welcome back again. So the soup is done. We had a like, okay? As you can see, we have like 30 seconds. We should have done that when everybody was Ooh, watching. Sure but we did it. <sighs> and um, so it's been, you know, like 10 minutes. So we don't need it to... Uh, uh, marinate it anymore leave it in there any more than that because we already did what we had to do with uh, the other one remember with the pasta yeah you know? oh yeah exactly so here we go one and two Ooh, this is gonna be for me that. and three just a little That's bit like extra. that extra i know i don't like a lot of it like that see mm, that looks phenomenal i think so michael what do you think michael i'm gonna let me make the other one for you you want yours too, right? Wow! Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. Everybody, I want you to yeah, comment. I want I want everyone to comment down below and tell us if this is your favorite pasta vajol that you've ever seen. And it's very cheap, guys. Like I said, with one patty of burger, I made this. Okay, so now let me show you the patty that I'm talking about. Because I like to, when I say things, I Ooh, like to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Support it with evidence. Oh, and uh, that salary that you see over there, Michael doesn't like the celery, so I kind of a little bit just to put on mine because I love... Throws it off for I, me. I like a little... This is for me. That one is yours over there. I like mine with a little bit of celery because I like to uh, to hear like the crunch of it. Right, Michael? Yes. That's okay. So what else do we need? We need two spoons. That's what we need for that. Right, Mike? Oh, Mommy, tell everybody what this is. Oh, that's the, a bonsai tree that my son James got me for Mother's Day. And uh, he sent it in a box, and it's still all these branches on the top are like the ones that are like, you know, erupting and coming out. Like you see, it looks real, real pretty. And I like it a lot. So this is my soup, guys, here, like you see. Mm. And it's very easy. Oh, like I said, I was going to show you guys. That's what I was going to show everyone, right, Mike? Right? So I took for my soup, guys, one of these, just one hamburger patty, you see? Just one of these is for my meat there, and I made all that soup that actually six people can eat out of it. You know what I'm saying? Very good. Big bowls, everybody, and everybody can be enjoying in this. I'm going to try a little bit because you know how I am. You want some queso on yours, Michael? No. You don't want some queso? No, I'm lactose intolerant. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Better than, uh, than that restaurant that we always order it. Um, oh, uh, oh, OG. The OG? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But this is delicious, guys, and it's very easy. You can rewind the video, watch it from the beginning. Um, I, see, I spoke, and you can see all the condiments that I have right there on top of uh, my counter, right next to the stove, and this is delicious. Beans, pasta, that's it, and one hamburger thing. Mmm. Mm. For a Friday night, for your family, for you, for your friends, for your neighbor. A boyfriend is coming over, you just get some nice bread and put some cheese on it throw it in the oven serve with this beautiful pasta fajol you know and some beautiful wine it's friday night the drink and drive thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe tell us what you think about this soup and about this video and uh we'll let you know uh, what we think so with that we'll let you guys go love you all thanks for watching another episode of cindy's home kitchen love you all guys don't drink and drive